Hey everyone, what's going on? Thanks for tuning in to Relevant Jukebox, and today we're going to talk about the latest album from Earl Sweatshirt, Sick. So this is the fourth full-length studio album from the rapper and producer Earl Sweatshirt, and to my knowledge, this album was conceived during 2020, during the initial run of lockdowns that occurred, and it's kind of like Earl's perception of the world and things that are going on nowadays, hence, you know, the title of the album, plus the depiction of Earl with a mask on the cover, and he's recruited the likes of The Alchemist, Navy Blue, and Black Noise, among others, for the production on here. And it's a short album overall, just 10 tracks and 24 minutes, which does line up with a lot of the material that he's been dropping as of recent. And overall, this album doesn't really feel like something completely new or refreshing for Earl. However, Sick does feel much more refined and a lot less sloppy and deranged than some of his previous material, like Feet of Clay or even some rap songs, which unfortunately does leave me with some mixed feelings overall towards this album. Now, some of these tracks do stick within that lane of like dusty, loopy, underground hip hop that Earl has been owning as of recent with a lot of samples from African soul and rock music. And you know, I just really think that fits his style extremely well. Like the track Lie, which is a huge standout on here that features a sample from the track Havilac by Riff Raff, but it is just amazing overall. It feels like a left out track from some rap songs, but with a little more clarity to it. And also the closing track, A Fire in the Hole. This one is just a huge standout in Earl's discography, in my opinion, and he actually lets the instrumental breathe a little bit towards the end, which he doesn't do too much of, and it kind of leaves this whole project out on sort of like a brighter note, which you don't get from Earl really ever. Now, there are some other tracks on here that do explore slightly newer territory that have, you know, much more brighter sounds and a lot heavier bass coming at you, like two of the lead singles that dropped, one being 2010 and the other one, Titanic. However, you know, both of these instrumentals end up like staling themselves out in my opinion and just uh, drag out a little too long. On the flip side of that, there's an interlude on here, Lobby, which has an instrumental that I enjoy quite a bit. It's huge and hulking and large sounding, but by the time the track is over, it just feels so scant, like it could have used another verse or something. I thought the title track, Sick, and also God Laughs were much better in comparison to these tracks. Both of them are mixed kind of oddly though. Like on the track, sick how you have a really nice endearing piano sample that's woven into that instrumental but it's so quiet in comparison to Earl's voice and the bass and also on God Laughs uh, Earl's voice is kind of mixed a little bit quieter it's almost like he's floating underneath the track which I'm sure has some kind of symbolic effect to it um, I don't mind it it does sound nice though and as for the longest cuts on the album uh, I wasn't really feeling those tracks and they both come after one another in the track list of course I'm talking about Vision and Tabula Rosa. Both feature some pretty high profile guest spots with Armin Hander and Z Loopers. But I mean, the instrumentals are just so lackluster on these tracks, in my opinion. I think Vision could have used like a beat switch up or two. And also that prominent piano sample that comes through on Tabula Rosa just doesn't really complement the track too well for me. It actually ends up cutting through basically all the rest of the instrumentation and becomes really kind of annoying and distracting actually. So I mean, overall, I thought this was a pretty solid record from Earl once again. It does kind of play it safe though, and I did leave the record wanting more overall. But hey, you know, more Earl Sweatshirt is better than no Earl Sweatshirt in my opinion. And with that being said, I'm feeling a seven over here on Sick. So for all you collectors out there, I headed over to Earl's website. He doesn't have a vinyl up just yet, just a few different batches of t-shirt designs. And if you have listened to Sick already, let me know what you thought about it in the comment section down below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and share, and if you want more content from me, hit that subscribe button. Peace.